Hello, welcome back everyone to another episode of the Virtual Ninja Show. My name is Heike and today we are going to talk about Edge for Business and I have Keith with me. Keith, please introduce yourself. Hey Heike, thanks for having me. So my name is Keith Fleming. I'm a Senior Product Manager on the Defender for Cloud Apps team and excited to talk about some of our, some of our new enhancements uh, with everybody today. So this actually brings me to my very first question. You just mentioned you are on the Defender for Cloud Apps team. And my our topic today is Edge for Business. How is this connected? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so Edge for Business is you know not a new browser. So it's the same browser that exists on you know default on Windows devices today. It's all native. It can be installed on any platform. Um, so the way this works today is Edge for Business really is a platform that we utilize, and then you know it has different pillars, and then Defender for Cloud Apps then operates inside of those pillars to provide a security controls and auditing capabilities and some other really cool stuff that we're, that we're working on. And this is now new. I saw there was an announcement, but what exactly has been announced? Yeah, so if you're familiar with Defender for Cloud Apps, historically we've had session policies. Um, session policies provide you know the ability for organizations to control what happens within a, a browser session. Um, Today, uh, that all goes through a reverse proxy. Um, however, because we have such tight integration with Edge, we're able to now move our existing session controls directly inside the browser. So uh, for, for customers, that really means, you know, there are a couple of things. You know, first, there's no latency um, because anytime you introduce a proxy to an environment, there's additional latency that happens. Uh, with inline controls, because we rewrite URLs, that can also cause some app compatibility issues and certain things maybe may break. Um, and then also, uh, because we're inside the client itself, we can provide a, you know, better security controls than what are available today because we're actually inside the browser itself. Hmm. Is this similar um, to the integration from a concept perspective when you say we don't need a proxy now anymore for Defender for Endpoint, right? So customers with Defender for Endpoint also collect or like get the data right away without the need of a proxy. Is this, can I see the similar from a concept? It, it's similar, but it is different. So uh, with Endpoint, you need to have the agent installed. So you need to have the Sense agent on the device itself. With Defender for Cloud Apps and our integration with Edge for Business, it's just the browser. So the really mm -hmm. cool thing that we can do um, that that you can't do is we uh, that you can't do with Endpoint is we can apply controls to unmanaged devices as well. So as long mm -hmm. really you know Edge for Business for us is enabled just for the user signing into you know a particular SaaS application and then the work profile in the browser itself. So and that can be on their personal computer. So we don't even need to have a uh, an agent. For, uh, for area now. Yeah, I think in general, all these scenarios where there is no proxy needed anymore, uh, VPN connection or whatever is so important for us working anywhere on this planet. Um, yeah. So tell me a little bit, um, is there something people need to configure, right? I mean, you said it's, we are in the browser, <laughs> but is it on by default or do customer need to do something? Yeah, it's, it's on by default now. So the, the really cool thing about it is that we're, we're really building on the existing session policies that customers have today. So if you already have a session policy enabled in your environment, um, when you log into the SaaS application that you're accessing, um, if you're using a third party browser, you'll still go through inline proxy. But if you're going through Edge for Business, we'll fetch the policies directly uh, from within the browser itself. The browser will reach out and fetch those and then it, it does all the enforcement locally. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the great thing is it's all the same policies that you have configured today. There's no no changes required for admin for administrators at all. And then what is the data, the insights that now customers get by using that, by having that turned on? So, um, you know, of course we support, you know, things that you can do with session policies today. So, uh, you know, that data then gets popped into XDR. So you can see, you know, within the activity log, um, you can see what users are doing, what they're, you know, if they're copying content or if they're downloading content or uploading content. So it really expands auditing capabilities beyond what you can do through our app connectors today to provide, like I said, an odd directly into the, the browser for all of those applications. So as long as it's integrated through uh, Entra and SSO, 
um, you'll be able to take advantage and, you know, utilize that today. So, and that always brings the privacy question, right? People use the browser. How is that being like you work with customers? You probably worked on that feature with customers. What's the feedback there? I mean, you know, I, I'm in Germany. We have that worker council and uh, people don't like <laughs> if other people know what we are doing. How is that with that browser? Sure. Yeah. So with, with Edge for Business, it really, it really targets the work profile itself. So if you have a, if you like with Edge, you know how you can create multiple profiles. So I can have my, my own personal profile. And then I have maybe a work profile that I want to access my email, right? Or, you know, SharePoint. Um, those are actually separated out with Edge for Business. So, you know, all your personal browsing is totally separate. Um, so the policies are only going to apply to the work profile. So you okay. can browse and, you know, do everything that you would normally do in your, in your personal browser. But then, you know, for anything work related that you're accessing, it gives you that visibility and control uh, on top of that. So those are totally separated out with Edge for Business now. Wow. Okay. I need to look into this. I have no clue how I create a profile. <laughs> so uh, I will figure this out afterwards. So Keith, but we also have similar capabilities with mobile application management and Intune, or is this different? Can you help me get this like clarified? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, as I said earlier, you know, Edge for Business is a platform with multiple pillars and, you know, different products or, you know, implementing capabilities within those individual pillars. So in, in this case, there are really a lot of complementary capabilities with Defender for Cloud Apps and, you know, MAM or Intune. So for instance, with, um, you know, Defender for Cloud Apps, we can think of that as like a context aware. So we're, we're aware of, you know, the, the data within, you know, within the browser. Um, however, with MAM, it, it's not. And then MAM is also available with E3. So that's one of the first things. So E3 capabilities are MAM and then E5 capabilities are part of Defender for Cloud Apps. Um, the other thing is that there, there are also very complementary capabilities too. So with Defender for Cloud Apps, you can control, um, you know, the, the actual session to the SaaS application. However, with uh, MAM integrations and uh, app application policies, you can actually provide a config to the work profile itself. So I can I have full control over, you know, what extensions do I want to allow or what individual browser settings do I want to push down to this work profile? So um, it really gives you a holistic capability to um, a configure to control the SaaS application and then alongside the actual work profile itself. And then if you only have E3, um, then you can also still use the E3 capabilities as part of a uh, MAM as well. And of course, you know, I think the visibility that you get and then you have it in the Defender XDR portal um, is also enriching your events and your alerts, incidents and discover um, of used applications and websites uh, different than what the Intune capabilities collect or make available or visible. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So then I would like to see some of these policies, maybe, if you can show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm here on my laptop now. Let's take a look at the actual policies that we have within uh, Defender for Cloud Apps. And like I said, if you've used this menu, this won't be anything new to you. So uh, from policy management, um, I'm just actually looking at an existing session policy um, that I have. Um, this is a monitor activities policy, um, you know, scope to SharePoint and then a couple of users within my environment. So, mm -hmm. like I said, the great thing about these policies is, you know, you don't need to define new ones. Uh, we'll just use the the actual ones that you already have. And uh, the, whenever you log on, uh, Defender for Cloud Apps will figure out which browser you're coming from and then serve up the content appropriately. Mm -hmm. So if we look at what the actual experience is for end users, uh, this is going to look similar, but there's going to be uh, one major difference. So I'm going to go ahead and log on to uh, the SharePoint site here that I want to monitor um, activities for. We'll see we get the, the normal splash screen that's been around in proxy for a very long time. Um, you know, end users will see this and you'll see, you know, MCAS.MS for a moment. And then once we click continue to uh, the SharePoint site, uh, we're then going to see that this content will be served up by Edge directly. So as you can see here, uh, we now have the site loaded. And the very important thing to notice is that um, this is being served uh, directly in the browser because we're not seeing, you know, MCAS.MS. Um, as I explained before with our inline controls, if 
you're going through our inline proxy, we actually rewrite the URLs and that's one way that you know that you're in proxy. But in this case, you can see that it's been removed. Okay, cool. Yeah, and the other very important thing to also understand is, like I said, we have more capabilities to be able to actually secure the browser. That was one of the main things that we uh, that we wanted to do whenever we set out. You know, we, we really set out to address, you know, three main things, latency, app compatibility, and also, uh, you know, improved security. So um, as you can see here, when we click uh, in the site, there's also uh, no dev tools. So we're not able to, you know, inspect the page. Uh, we're not able to extract those URLs or those tokens that may be contained. So uh, we're actually locking that out in the browser itself. And you'll see that for all of your protected sessions going through uh, going through Edge for Business. So is this could this be configured in a different way to not allow inspect, or is this really one evidence that um, you are using that um, um, Edge for Business with, yeah. Yeah, today with MDA, um, if you're going through a protected session, then we're gonna then we're gonna disable Dev Tools, and that was a that was a key uh, that was a key piece of feedback that we heard from many many customers um, because there were um, some scenarios where you know a token was exposed. Um, so yeah, that's one way that we're that we're working to help better secure uh, better secure the browser by disabling that on all of our protected sessions. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's, that's good. I mean, I use that a lot because I'm trying to grab URLs <laughs> mm -hmm. that are in there and they don't want to give me or like a picture that I want to see. And if I want to right click and save the picture and it doesn't allow me, so I'm grabbing that picture from the inspect, but, um, okay. What is then the result that after that session, do you see that in the defender portal that someone used that, that SharePoint session now? Right, correct. All of the uh, all of the activities that that we're monitoring will also be available in XDR. So you can create um, activity policies within the MDA con or within the Defender for Cloud Apps console. Um, you know, to, if you're looking for certain activities, um, you know, trigger alerts that'll be you know correlated to incidents. Um, so yeah, all that data is going to be available in XDR. So as we see activities, you'll also know about it and be able to correlate that across all of your SaaS applications without the uh, without the need for for app connectors. Hmm. So nothing to install. It is Edge for Business. It is the browser that is basically built into Windows. Um, there's nothing. Of course, customer need Defender for Cloud Apps. Mm -hmm. uh, have that installed and configured. Um, nothing to turn on. And then also the policies. I think you said it's all already um, added to the existing policies and it's just going. Yeah, absolutely. That's the, uh, to me, that's one of the best parts about it. You know, Edge, Edge for Business is totally native on Windows 10, you know, or Windows 10 and Windows 11. You know, it comes there by default. Um, so as long as you have Edge for Business, um, just sign into your work profile and then you're seamlessly going to, you're, you're, it's going to be a very, very seamless experience for, you know, end users and then um, admins who are also configuring those policies. If you've already configured policies today, um, they're applied automatically. But yeah, nothing new to install, um, especially if you're if you're working on a Windows device, it's all native. Yeah, yeah. So what was the customer feedback, Keith, um, that we actually developed that? Um, integration. Um, why were they concerned? What are the concerns they have users using a browser? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so for us, our our entire you know existence is really to you know protect uh, protect SaaS applications. So uh, you know we want to we want to give organizations the ability to you know have eyes on what's happening within those uh, SaaS applications that they're using within their environment. And, uh, you know, just really be able to provide a simple way without, you know, that's, you know, agentless where they can be able to have visibility in a control plane over over those SaaS applications. Because today, um, you know, those applications are really where crown jewels are stored because we're, we're in a mm -hmm. we're in a cloud you know environment where. You know, everything is you know, everything is based in SaaS and, you know, the most important things that that co that customers own today are are in SaaS applications, you know, intellectual property, et cetera. So uh, we want to provide, you know, controls to, to be able to help secure those platforms. And this was a this was a major component. Like um, think about it as like the next generation approach to, you know, what we've historically been doing with session controls and proxy. 
And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, um, we had, you know, there were some limitations with inline proxy and being able to put this, put these controls directly in the browser, you know, really just provides a much, much better experience. We're, we're excited for customers to be able to take advantage of it today. And, you know, when I look at the blog, um, is this now already generally available or are we in a public preview? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in public preview right now. Uh, we do expect to go to have this generally available, you know, in the near future. And then we're also working on some really other new exciting developments in the future as well, too. So uh, expect more news around this. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to being able to continue to leverage this platform to provide better SaaS security for our customers. Yes. And as always, everyone, provide feedback. Um, There is a feedback option within the portal. So this lands directly at the right table of the right engineer. <laughs> um, and we always ask you to please provide feedback so we can build the products that you need. Keith, um, I think we covered it all. Like I think again, important, nothing to install. It works out of the box and we encourage customers to use it um see the auditing information they get and um yeah have a better protected enterprise environment absolutely thanks so much for the opportunity to come out today and and, and chat with everybody about it um as Hake mentioned you know we love feedback so uh tell us what you think what you'd like to see and uh that way we can help to build build better products to suit your needs <laughs> Thank you so much, Keith, for being my expert on today's show. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.